videotaping uh, or using your iPhone, cell phone to record inappropriate behavior has become a topic of national discussion. Just ask the CEO of United Airlines uh, how he feels about a little recording that was made recently on an airplane when they overbooked, or ask American Airlines about a rogue flight attendant. It's been quite an interesting few weeks here uh, in the media. So we are in the age of technology, and we now have uh, access to cameras, but we also have like video cameras. We can now literally be doing movies. We're in the digital er era. So uh, colleagues, uh, our state's community colleges, uh, CSU and UC universities are seeing more classes recorded and posted online. Uh, being able to catch up after a sick day or other unplanned emergency only makes good sense. We just approved software for our colleges in sub one, you and I, uh, which is the same software that uh, Harvard University utilizes. Uh, and many instructors have uh, contacted me with no qualms about being recorded and posted on the internet for review. However, there are some courses where interaction may be inhibited if it is being recorded. So not recording makes sense in a lot of cases. Um, I would think that perhaps non-recording should be the exception, not the norm. Uh, one uh, individual taxpayer or constituent sent me a little note that 50 years ago when he attended Purdue, uh, they made reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders available uh, to use in the classrooms back then. So however, when in a non-recorded course, uh, recording a course, what is a student to do when an instructor egregiously deviates from the syllabus or violates, violates state or federal law or displays, or excuse me, disobeys a school policy? Uh, with, with the iPhone age, recording anything is as easy as a quick app for whistleblower type incidents and other unanticipated emergencies, perhaps like a student attack on an instructor using a digital recording device may be necessary. So when I Googled workplace whistleblower policy, I get an incredible amount of hits, but when you do it for students, not much at all. So SB 677 attempts to address this neglected area in the state's education code. The state lacks instructions for teachers that spell out prohibitions on preventing students from disclosing information to appropriate authorities and retaliation in several forms. SB 677 attempts to address this need it simply adopts current workplace whistleblower laws, including Senator Tom Hayden's efforts, and applies them to students. If an instructor is bullying or intimidating certain students, shouldn't this activity be recorded and reported? Or should a no recording policy shelter abusive instructors? Is it possible for a student to respond when retaliation against his or her grade or grades of even younger siblings that may come after may be affected? So for the last 23 years, I've given some 900 official speeches and I just agreed to do one for another large organization. And I got an email that told me what I should wear and what I shouldn't talk on. <laughs> I thought it was, I never gotten one of those before that don't tell personal stories that have nothing to do with the topic at hand. Don't stray from the topic. So we all know that most college professors are outstanding representatives of their profession. Uh, but we also know that there are some that can stray. So how do we deal with the exceptions, the bad apples, and protect our students, uh, those even who are harass or threaten or intimidate? Uh, so I believe SB 677 is the first step in starting this dialogue. It is narrowly tailored to allow, uh, to, excuse me, to only provide whistleblower protection and allow recording if the student reasonably believes that an instructor is violating a state or federal or, or regulation or a local agency policy. Madam Chair, you are also concerned about protecting students from specifically defined incidents in your good bill today, 169. But the, the goal with this bill, SB 677, is balance. Students must obey school policies. So must their instructors. In the rare case when they do not, students should be able to record under awkward circumstances. And uh, I, I thank you for your consideration and your discussion, and I encourage and I vote.